I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started. I've got my book finished, and I want to publish it today. Hold on. First, we have to determine if indie publishing is right for you. But I'm ready to go. I'm determined. I believe in myself and my book. Isn't that enough? It's a good start, but an effective indie publisher needs certain characteristics. I'm not sure I understand. Not everyone is suited for indie publishing. While indie publishing offers great opportunities for the right people, some writers are better off pursuing traditional publishing opportunities. What are those characteristics? First, the indie writer needs a strong work ethic. Remember, as an indie writer, you are not only the writer of the book, but also its editor, publisher, graphic designer, formatter and marketer. Even if you decide to outsource some of these jobs later on, you will still be the final word on what is sold. That means you have to be actively involved throughout the publishing process. Like many other things in life, while the rewards are great, the work is equal to the reward. Well, I'm no stranger to hard work. I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and get started. That's good to know. In addition to a strong work ethic, you also need self-discipline. You won't have anyone else setting deadlines or asking when those edits will be done. You have to be able to set your own deadlines and then meet them. Some people work best when they have someone else providing the accountability. If so, indie publishing is going to be hard for that person. I don't mind working on my own. And if I set a deadline for myself, I will usually keep it. Good. That type of attitude will serve you well publishing your own work next. Indie writers need a commitment to excellence. Remember, everything about the book you publish is a reflection of you from the content to the editing to the cover design. If a reader sees low-quality work, he or she won't buy any more of your books. No problem there, I'm a perfectionist. Well, that can create another problem. I don't understand. Perfectionism is a good thing, right? It can be. If it is the type of perfectionism which strives to create the best product with the resources you have and the time you have available. However, some people never publish anything because their final copy is still not perfect. As one editor said, there are two types of books. The perfect one and the published one. There will always be something you can do to make the book just a little bit better. You have to know when to stop polishing and publish. I see what you mean. And I do understand the difference. I am one of those who strives to create the best product I can, but I know at some point I have to finish and move on to the next project. Next, an indie writer has to have a healthy pride. We are not talking about vanity here. We are talking about a belief in oneself and one's work. It takes a good deal of self-confidence to say that you have written something people should buy. I can understand that. And the authors also need healthy humility. I can understand pride, but humility? I know. Humility is not something spoken of much in the arts. But it is important. Certainly you need enough pride to think your work is good enough for people to read. However, when you are starting out, you also need to face some realities about yourself. You are not currently well known. Outside of your circle of friends and family, few people are going to be naturally motivated to buy your book simply because you wrote it. Okay, I can see that. What you are saying is that I need a healthy, but realistic ego. I'm not Nora Roberts or Mary Higgins Clark. I'm going to have to work harder than them to sell my books. Exactly. Many indie authors fail in this respect when it comes to pricing and marketing promotions. They often think because they spent so many hours writing a book, they should be compensated for that time spent. That's understandable. I want to get paid what my writing is worth. Don't we all, but your writing is worth what someone is willing to pay for it and not a cent more. Think about it this way. If you were looking through the Kindle store for a new novel to read, would you be willing to pay $9.95 for a book by an author you never heard of? I guess not. Oh, I see. I can't price based on my own sense of value in the book. I have to price based on what someone who doesn't know me or my work would be willing to pay. That means I need a healthy humility about both myself and my work.
Another quality of a successful indie author is a thick skin. What do you mean by that? Have you ever bought a book on Amazon? Sure, lots of them. Did you read any of the reviews before making a purchase? All the time. They really help me understand what the book is about and whether or not I will like it. Have you read bad reviews of books you later bought and enjoyed? Yes, I have. I didn't understand the bad reviews. Oh, I see. You are saying I'm going to get some bad reviews. Exactly. Nobody gets universally good reviews. And, online, hidden behind an anonymous screen name, some people can be quite cruel in their approach. You have to be able to first, learn from reasonable, balanced reviews so you can improve your writing, but you also have to be able to let negative reviews, that are nothing more than someone venting, roll off your back. You can't worry about a single bad review. Indie writers also need patience. Success in any field usually takes time. But I thought indie publishing was a quick way to publication. Compared to traditional publishing it is. However, you still have to put in time and effort getting your book ready for publication. Editing, formatting, cover design and marketing take time. Also, if you are a new writer, without an established fan base, building up an audience for your books will take time. You have to be patient and not get discouraged if you don't sell a thousand copies the first month. I guess that makes sense. Do you like learning new things? I love learning. I take classes all the time. Read a lot of books. Watch instructional videos online. I don't believe education ends when you leave school. That's great. Indie writers need to be willing to learn. Things keep changing in the field. We will try to keep you up on the changes throughout this course and will add updates periodically. But you also have to watch tech and publishing news for some of the latest changes. That sounds exciting. It's like being a pioneer. That's exactly what it's like. Indie writers stand on the leading edge of the new publishing technology. We are changing the so-called rules of publishing. That means we have to stay current. I'm glad you are willing to learn. It looks like indie publishing is right for you. So, let's move on to the next lesson. Let's talk about editing your manuscript.